and today's topic is red dot sights on pistols. I've used red dot sights on rifles for some time but I'm pretty new to red dot sights on pistols and I really didn't see what is the point and purpose of a red dot sight for most defensive pistol shooting. I had four reasons to be skeptical about the benefit of red dot sights for pistols. First of all, defensive pistol shooting is usually done from short range with relatively large targets. This doesn't require much precision, so iron sights should be plenty adequate. Second, as a retired research optometrist, I know that aiming with iron sights is an alignment task, and the human visual system is extremely good at judging alignment, even with some blur. So for this kind of visual task, iron sights should be just fine. Third, red dot sights are very expensive. Is it really worth the cost for marginal if any benefit. And fourth, optical sights, that is red dot sights, have a greater risk of failure than simple iron sights. And I was wondering, is all this talk about red dot sights just hype? I saw a video recently on the Wilson Combat Channel by Ken Hackathorn in which he said there's really no advantage of red dot sights over iron sights and that. But a lot of people are beginning to adopt red dot sights, including many law enforcement agencies, and I'm a basic firearms instructor. So I thought, well, I really need to get some experience and try them out myself. Fortunately for me, as the owner of a Springfield XD pistol, Springfield Armory makes it relatively easy and inexpensive to try out a red dot sight. One of their new products, which is shown here, is what they call an XD OSP slide assembly. That's an XD slide that's been milled out for a red dot sight. By swapping slides, you can turn your standard XD pistol into an optics ready XD. The XD OSP slide assembly comes with an adapter plate that screws onto the milled portion of the slide, and then you screw your red dot sight onto the adapter plate. The one that comes from Springfield comes with the adapter plate that fits their red dot sight, which is called the Hex Wasp. But in my case, I had a Holosyn 407, so I had to order a different adapter plate which fit my sight. Installation was simple. I removed the cover plate that comes with the slide, screwed on the adapter plate, and then attached my Holosyn sight using blue Loctited screws and 15 inch pounds of torque. I then swapped slides and voila, I had an optical sighted pistol. The first thing I notice with a red dot sight is they are very easy to see. The actual reticle on the red dot sight that I was using is not really a dot, but it's an 8 MOA circle. Some people new to red dot sights mention difficulty finding the dot. I did notice it was a bit high in the glass at first, but I quickly adapted. On the range, I compared my new optical sighted pistol with an iron sighted pistol, both in 9mm. To roughly evaluate defensive accuracy, I aimed at a 1 inch dot on an IPSC target from 10 yards. In this simple comparison, the red dot sighted group that's indicated by the red dots was marginally smaller than the iron sighted group indicated by the black dots, but there wasn't a huge difference and both were well within the center of mass. I repeated the procedure several times and didn't see a significant advantage to the red dot sight in terms of accuracy at this distance. But there was a clear advantage, namely, the red dot sight was easier to see and easier to aim. Let me explain what I mean when I say that red dot sights are easier to aim than iron sights. To aim with iron sights, you must perform two critical steps. One, sight alignment, and two, sight picture. Sight alignment refers to aligning the front and back sights. Then, with those sights aligned, you must put those sights on the target. That's step two, or sight picture. So with iron sights, you must do both. And it turns out that between those two steps, the first, that sight alignment, is the most critical for accuracy, and even a slight error in step one will significantly degrade accuracy. On the other hand, with a red dot sight, there is no step one because there are no front and back sights to align. You jump straight to step two, namely putting the sight on the target. This greatly simplifies aiming. I think I can see where they would not necessarily be so beneficial, but I also think I can see where they would be beneficial. So let me summarize. 
For most defensive pistol scenarios, iron sights are plenty adequate. Of course, there's nothing wrong with spending an extra two to five hundred dollars for optical sights if you want to, but I expect most people won't shoot better with red dot sights than with iron sights, especially if they don't train. If you haven't mastered the fundamentals of pistol shooting, an expensive optical sight won't make up for a lack of training. For example, even with a red dot sight, your accuracy will be pretty bad if you have a bad habit of jerking the gun when you shoot. So does this mean I'm against red dot sights? No, by no means. In fact, I think I can now better understand their benefits and their place in pistol shooting. If you need or prefer sights that are easier to see and use, optical sights might be worth the expense for you. Whether your eyes are healthy or not, one basic principle of vision science is that high contrast is always easier to see than low contrast, and red dot sights provide ultimate contrast. Or, if you need to take a critical shot, for example, at long range on a small target, you have an excellent trigger, are well trained, and can aim precisely, then a red dot sight might make the difference. This could be why in the recent IDPA Oklahoma State Championship, nine of the top 11 pistol finishers use optical, that is red dot sights, but these were all elite shooters who train a lot. The thing I like about red dot sights on pistols is they're easy to see and they're easy to use for aiming. So I'm interested in training more and seeing if I can learn to take advantage of them and perhaps it may make me a better shooter for long range small targets. So that's just my initial thoughts. Thank you for watching.